Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, welcome back, let's replay Final Fantasy 1. Now you're probably wondering why I'm uploading this, or recording this in general. Well, this is going to kind of serve as a filler while I work on getting my Link to the Past file all caught up. Um, I've been kind of lazy with that so far, I should work on that more, but I will get to that. So I figured I didn't want to have another lapse of time without video, so I figured, hey, this LP is still on the back burner, so I may as well go ahead and record it. So, there we go. Anyway, last time we made our way through the Citadel of Trials, picked up a very important key item also, and ignore all that, uh, we picked up the Rat's Tail, token of valor and strength. Now, where are we supposed to go with that? I think it was mentioned before, it's, I'm sure I showed it off in episode 10, um, way back when, that's been how long ago now anyway. Uh, but just a refresher, uh, we need to show it to Bahamut. Uh, he's in the uh, Dragon Caves here, so we'll go ahead and uh, make our way over there. I should also mention, you know, for those items, I forgot I had codes in for other files, and I guess they're apparently... they carry through each and every file. Let me check my map here. Um, oh yeah, the airship is kind of down there. Crap, forgot about that. Maybe I should have started the episode down there, but eh, oh well. Be else Tinkering around with other files here, different job classes, just playing for fun and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, I forgot I put it in an all item code, just for the hell of it, and um, yeah. <laughs> so it, it won't affect the LP or anything, I'll just use what normal items you get along the way. Now, as far as equipment goes, of course I'm not going to change my setup or anything like that, it's just I kind of forgot about it, it's not really a big deal, so I really wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, still on the big old open sea here, to get back to our airship, it's way down southeast in the uh, Ryukon Desert, where we first got it, actually. And you also remember I'm doing a little bit of a sequence breaking. Um, well, I, I will be doing that, actually. You're not really supposed to be doing the um, what I'm about to do until a little bit later on in the game. But, I mean, it's it's free to do whatever you want. They, I only have the one crystal. You're supposed to be going after the uh, fire crystal next. Uh, but I've, I've already been off to um, Gaia and everything like that anyway, so, yeah. I mean, that's what I would normally do anyway, so stick with it. Here's our next destination. This is Mount Gold. We'll be over there later. I'll probably just fly on back over there some other time. Anyway, flying all the way back up to the north-central-ish part of the world where the Dragon Caves were to uh, see Bahamut again. See what we can do with that rat's tail. Um, I can never remember which cave it actually is, either. I always forget. I think it's this one right here. If not, it's it's the Hellfire Chasm. It's, or a random battle. Oh, uh, man. Okay, I can... Uh, eh, I should run, but I don't feel like it. I'll just... I'll, you know, I'll fast forward. Why not? Not that it really matters. You've seen these guys before. They're enemies. They're monsters. There we go. Nothing to it. Here we go, this is the one I wanted. Yeah, I'll probably... Um, the whole thing with fast forward, I love it. And for my own playing time, like if I'm playing off camera, as far as actually recording goes, I I use it when I feel it's necessary to use it. We'll just go with that. Anyway, I think we talked to Bahamut earlier. Did he say, like, come back to me when you have a token of your worth or something like that? I, I think, I don't remember for sure. Apparently a rat's tail is uh, proof of strength and courage. So, yeah, I, I guess. We'll go with that. Anyway, so. He's gonna get us all sparkled up, I, I guess. And now we're ghosts. And now we have new outfits! What does that entail? We will find out here shortly. Now, at this point, Bahamut, all he'll say now is restore the crystals to greys, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we have new job classes now. We have, um, our wizards will upgrade, well, our mages upgraded to the wizards, red, white, and black wizard, respectively. Um, warrior goes to knight, uh, monk goes to master, and thief goes to ninja. Um, here's the thing also, with knight and ninja, they can now learn magic. Um, knight gets up to level 3, white magic. Um, not all of it, though. There's a couple of spells he can't learn, I think. Um, heal, and, um, uh, what's the, what's the other one, I forget what the other level 3 spell was, he can't learn that either. Uh, for Black Mage, or not for Black Mage, for Ninja, he can learn uh, level up to level 4 Black Magic, which includes all the level 1 and 2 elemental spells, and Haste and Temper as well. So he, he can be your secondary Black Mage, pretty much, for buffing up your party, which is really, really nice there. Um, now, the 1 and 2, well, I'm gonna go and do it right now, anyway. 
Uh, I'm going to fly around the world aimlessly here for a bit. Uh, let's get back to Cornelia and buy some spells. Yeah, at this point now, yeah, you want to go back to the uh, first couple towns of the game and buy some new spells for your entire party. Also, your equipment op options are upgraded too. I think each class can equip some more stuff. Oh, yeah, I, for I have these. <laughs> yeah, here's all the uh, cool swords in the game you get, but you're not supposed to have these yet, so... Yeah, I'm sticking with what I got for right now, so... Yeah, okay, never mind that. Let's just go ahead and buy some spells. Not that you really need to, actually, because, uh, as you would imagine, the uh, knights and ninjas magic attack kind of sucks. But, I mean, eh, it's there. Why not, really? Also, the knights cannot learn the uh, Daya spells, either that one, the level 2 or level 3 ones, obviously. Yeah, I mean, may as well, they're cheap. You might need to use, the no, knight's magic in, in a pinch for something, I don't know. Okay, next stop here is Provoka. Yeah, as far as um, also progress goes, we'll see what happens. I'll probably get over to Mount Gold, I would imagine. Yeah, for Ninja, I would say buy probably Fire, Thunder, and Sleep would be your best bets. Um, for level 2 spells, um, Blizzard and Temper for sure. At least Temper. Um, for Knights, whatever spells your White Mage doesn't have if you have one with you. So yeah, Blindna. Um, silence, I guess. And um, I already have Null Shock, so I'll go for Invis. That could actually be pretty helpful there. And then our last stop would be Elfheim. Way down back to the south. I should be doing this off screen, like jumping around, but eh. It's so fun to explore in this game anyway, so I may as well. It doesn't take that long anyhow, so. Anyway, here, here's the thing with LPs and whatnot. This is actually a spur of the moment decision to record this again. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to have a lapse period without videos. And I figured, hey, this is a pretty short game. It needs recording, so why not record it some more? So, yeah. And what I'm going to try to do also is try to record this and A Link to the Past together so I can have videos as often as I can. Have, like, have still a video a day. And then just uh, alternate videos, really. Uh, anyway, here I'm going to buy uh, Kira and Null Blaze. There we go. Yeah, Null Blaze will be really, really helpful to have now. You should have got it earlier with your White Mage there, but I still prefer going Kira, Dyara, or Dyara, whatever, and uh, heal. So, that's just me. Anyway, yeah, level 3 spells for Ninja, um, Fyra, Thundara, whatever other level 3 one you want. Level 4 would be Blizzara and Haste for sure. Anything else is really your pick. Um, now at this point, where should I go? Also, um, for your wizards there, um, the red wizard now can get up to level 7 magic, um, once he hits a level, level requirement. I think it's 30... 38 or 39 for that. Um, he can't learn all the spells, of course, but he gets a bigger repertoire of them. And then your white and black wizards will get up to level 8 magic, which is awesome. Some of the best spells, or the best spells in the game, I should say, are available in level 7 and 8 there. So, I, yeah, I can't really buy them right now anyway. Um, actually, now what we can do, um, a little more, bit more sequence breaking naturally, but I think it's recommended to do with your new job classes. Let's go ahead and sail up to the northwest here. Um, you've got this big old lake right here. There's a town over here, too. This is a town of Onrak. We'll be back over there later on for the uh, water crystal. Spoilers, is a water crystal. Yeah, I want to go ahead and go up to the uh, northwest here along the uh, lake here. Little side area that we can go to right now. That we couldn't before anyway because we didn't have the airship. And now we do, so. Yeah, these guys, yeah, these are worms. They're. Yeah, they're worms, pretty much. <laughs> Nothing much here to them. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go up northwest here. Yeah, a little side area here with some very, very handy stuff for us to get. So, let's get over there. Hopefully, you guys don't mind me showing off the random battles. There, are, there aren't any enemies up here anyway. Well, yeah, there, there are. Not aren't, yeah, there are new enemies up here, so. And yeah, there's plenty more coming up in this, uh, let's, in this next little, I guess, mini dungeon of sorts, if you want to call it that. This is the Waterfall Cavern. This place is kind of mazy, also. So, yeah, there's a lot of side paths here to lead to dead ends and whatnot. And new enemies here. I think this guy, though, didn't we see him in the, um, Citadel Trials? I think we did. I don't remember. Anyway, you generally want to make your way towards the northwest, and then work your way southwest in this part. And there's only one actual room in this part, yeah, that's way in the southwest corner. So yeah, we'll get on over there then. 
And I think what I might do this episode, well, this going through this part will take a little while with the random battles and navigating and whatnot. So what I may do, um, once we see how we're doing on time later on, as I might meet you guys back over at at a Mount Gold. Remember, I showed that off a little bit ago. So, and here we got some nightmares here. I think they didn't blind you or something. Yeah, I think Snorts would be it. I believe so. Luckily, it isn't like in Final Fantasy IX with those yans. If you, you snort, you're out of the battle. That's just really annoying. But we'll deal with those guys later on. Anyway, better stat gains here, too, with our new job classes there. So, there's that. I was the master also. Um, not actually a big improvement over month, to be perfectly honest. He gets better magic defense, I think. Um, but it still can't max out. So, there's that. Um, so, got some mummies here. Let's go ahead and use some... Um, Faraga on them, because, you know, they're undead, they're weak to fire, yada yada yada. Unfortunately, the rule of mummies in Lunar 2 does not apply here, whereas you kill the cane mummy, the other ones die along with it. Kind of sucks. I wish that would work, but eh, alas, it does not. Anyway, they can also put you to sleep, as you saw there with me sleeping, so there's that. Anyway, level up for me. Yeah, you can see now yeah, I'm finally starting to uh, gain some MP there, now that I'm a knight, so there you go. And Pyralisks, crap. These guys will see in Mount Gold later on. I think they can petrify you with their physical attacks, which is not fun. Or also this. Logically, the it just has a pretty bad accuracy, but you want to kill these guys like ASAP. So let's go and use Farage against them also. Also, I have plenty of uh, MP to spare for blowing off spells, and I can use cottages or tents anyway, so... Luckily, a gaze seems to miss a lot. Thank goodness. They also have pretty low HP as well. I think not even a hundred. So yeah, they die pretty quick. Thank goodness. And three clay golems. Uh oh. Can't possibly deal with these. And my monk. Well, disagrees with that. That, that statement. Anyway, these guys. Yeah, not really too hard. Yeah, your melee melee fighters can one shot them. No worries at all. Anyway, pretty much you have from here, make your way northwest and then southwest. Yeah, this part is kind of sort of mazy. Nothing, nothing we can't handle though, especially now that we're uh, in our new job classes. So, white mage still sucks with physical attacks. That that won't change at all until later on in the game. If you give very certain ultimate weapon, but that's we'll go over that later. Anyway, these battles here not really that hard as you've seen so far. They're just their battles. There we go. Um, let me heal up a little bit here, too. There's no boss or anything here, I should just mention real quick. So, yeah, just do a little bit of healing, and then make your way down here. Yeah, I think yeah, eventually you do have to come here. I forget if someone in another town tells you about this place. Um, but yeah, you are eventually told to come here because there's a yeah, special item we can get here. So, yeah, so we'll go ahead and nab that. Okay, and we are here now. For warning, in this room up here, there is a force battle tile here, which has a large group of enemies. I think there's like mummies and cane mummies and a, some pyralists also. So I will go ahead and show it off, just because. Um, now once you go in the room, you'll be forced to step on it, of course, but then also on your way out, you'll have to fight the same battle again. So I think what I'll just do, I'll just show off the battle once. Yeah, here we go. Cockatrices, pyralists, and cane mummies. Yeah, holy crap group here. Um, let's go and use that. Um, let's also use the gauntlets. I do have those. I'm actually allowed to use those. Yeah, also use a ton of armor that I should not have at this point in the game. I do. I apologize for that. But it's not going to matter because I'm not going to be using them. Um, gauntlets. They're way at the bottom here. Right? Yes, gauntlets. Here we go. Yeah, I found those in the um, Citadel trial, so they're okay to use. I do also have the other uh, healing staff that casts heal on your entire party for free. Um, normally, best if your red wizard or white or black wizard uses that because it's based off your magic at magic attack, obviously. Anyway, a good Roger spell should take care of the birds. There we go, nice shot. Yeah, if you had a black wizard with Farage, that would probably one shot all of them. Hey, okay, there we go. Also, great spot for grinding here. Also, if you wanted to do that. Anyway, some very handy stuff here to the wizard staff, which would be good for your black wizard. Also, a robot. Tiamat, flying fortress. What? Yeah, well, may as well keep it around. 
Get the warp cube. Yeah, we're gonna need that for later. Not for right now. That's down the line yet. And kind of just. Um. You okay, Mr. Robot? Oh, I guess he's malfunctioning. Anyway, get a ribbon. This is a very handy piece of headgear for pretty much anyone. What that does, as you may imagine, Final Fantasy lore, wards off special attacks. So let's give this to our white wizard there. Actually. Um. Yeah, we'll give it to the white wizard. Uh, what else we got here? A ton of money. Even more tons of money. Even more tons of money. And one of my favorite swords in all of Final Fantasy history, the Mighty Defender Sword. This thing is a beast and a half. For one thing, that, that's the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, here we go. It's actually not that much better than the Ice Brand there, but hey, it raises our accuracy by 10, which is awesome. So definitely give that to your knight if you have one. I recommend you do have one, really. They're awesome. And then give your old Ice Brand down to your Red Wizard there. If you also wanted to, you could give the Defender to your Red Wizard to make him a better attack option if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, there's that. But what I'm just going to do now is um, I'll just meet you guys back over at the entrance to Mount Gaul. There's not much else we can really do for right now that I haven't done already. Um, so yeah, this cool little side area here. As far as spells go also, um, again, you can't get the uh, level 7 and 8 ones yet because, at least in my point, you're not leveled enough, or I'm not leveled enough anyway. So yeah, level 6, level, oh, no, got level 7 spells, okay, I'll go over those when it's more pertinent anyway. Okay, so I'll meet you guys right back over at the entrance to Mount Gold for next time on Let's Replay Final Fantasy 1. This has been Iron Movie signing off, guys, have a great day, and thank you for watching.